I don't believe this! Ah! Are you kidding me? High school's pathetic enough without this nonsense. How the hell did I get here? Check it out, Dash Kruger! Guess what? Your name was chosen out of 500,000 entries. You and your entire senior class are going to party with Carmen Electra on your own private island, courtesy of MTV. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Scammed by my own little sister on live TV. Entered me without even asking. She was dead. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Shout out to my girl, Daddy Daddy! It's your dad, y'all! Oh my god! Okay, so we're just a triple egg! What did I tell you? Tell you. Oh, Daddy, I'm sorry. Daddy, I'm sorry. Daddy, I'm sorry. Daddy, I'm sorry. Let me just say this. Winning some massive MTV contest was the last thing I needed. My girlfriend had recently dumped me, and I was in no shape to be shipped off to some island in the middle of nowhere to hang with Carmen Electra. My class was psyched. For them, this was the ultimate school trip. I just wanted to hurl myself into the sea. The pack, pop music, the whole party thing, I was never really into it. Add in my ex was along for the ride. I don't think my life could suck any worse. Look, don't get me wrong. It's not that I'm against having a good time. I just don't like being told how and when to do it. Now, thanks to my scheming little sister, I was hosting the kind of party I would never even be invited to. I had no idea how I was going to survive all this joyful exuberance. At least I had my best friends with me to keep me from losing my mind. Nothing I like better than vacationing with every jackass who's ever tortured me. I can't believe my stupid sister would do this to me. It's just business, Josh. Generally wanted to win this. I don't respect initiative like that. You're blinded by lust, Andy. Hitler had initiative. The Republicans have initiative. Martha Stewart. Right. Yeah. It's what you're initiating that counts. Remember that. A blind man could see it. My sister's the devil. She'd send me to hell. Yeah, and then he totally went up to her, and oh my god, so <laughs> <laughs> Having a good time? Ooh, bitter, dark, sad, joshy. Fun, bad, people, bad. Why don't you try to relax? <laughs> Why don't you get the balls to enter me in this totally disgusting display of corporate self-promotion? Were you high? I entered everyone I knew over 18. Who would complain but you? This is my senior class. You're a junior. What the hell? Principal Havy loves me. He put me on the VIP list. Don't you have any shame? Don't you? Sitting up in your room brooding over Maddie. When are you going to get over it? This is your senior year, Josh. This is supposed to be the good times. Maybe even the best times. Hit me on the head and stuff me in the crawl space if these are the best times. OK, forget that this would be fun for 99% of the rest of the world. And forget about how all those people you hate now think you're a hero for winning this. And consider, Maddie. This may be your perfect chance. Maybe your only chance to win a battle. Yep, Maddie got herself a brand new action hero boyfriend. She thinks she's found someone just as idealistic as she is. I guess I just never saw the point in doing all the stuff she wanted me to do. I just wanted to be with her. The circus closes this weekend. You know how they treat those animals? We have to protest. <laughs> Can I just write a scathing letter? You know what? Forget it. I need to be with someone who's gonna get off his ass and do something about the things he believes in. Not just sit around his house spewing complaints. You used to think my spew was funny. You are funny. But it gets old. Okay, tough crowd. Must get new material. Broader, more physical stuff. See that? It wasn't funny. Just take me home.
Mm. So I blew it. And now she's with the guy who thinks he's the next president of the United States. You know, as the next generation of leaders, we have a responsibility. Check this. The estimated rate of extinction of plant and animal species in rainforest ecosystems such as these is in excess of 50,000 every year. Hey, what's up, party monster? You okay? You look a little pale. And we're losing roughly 140 species every day. We really need to protect what's left of our rainforest and get the logging companies out of there. That's my girl. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, every time there's a party like this, there's always that one idiot who gets a little too crazy and ruins it for everybody else. I love being that idiot. Monkey! Remind me again why we keep company with them. Fourth grade, took on Jimmy Cushing, Eric King, and both the little brothers while they were kicking our asses. What? What? This great silly string in their eyes. They got his ass kicked too. Thought they counts. This is so cool. I can't believe I'm finally a VJ. You're on a test deal. Chuck out here once newbie in your back to making coffee and picking up dry cleaning. I'm not worried. It's gonna be a great gig. Whatever. I can't wait to get back to TRL in New York. Oh, TRL. New York. You think you can put in a good word for me? You got any money? Oh, yeah. Candy for monkey. You know, you wouldn't believe the toxic waste they put in this. Mm. It's definitely not fit for human consumption. Not at all. Kruger, good job on the big win, man. Thanks for having us all along. Man, mm, Newsom Pledger's mine. Dude, you got a little, uh, little chocolate or something on your lip there. What's your problem, Mr. Oh. Pants? Huh? You want some monkey? You want some monkey, don't you? I got it right here. Right here. Yeah, it's cool. Cool. I got it. Cool. Go, monkey. Catch you guys later, all right? Yeah. Come on, Andy. Tango time. Uh, I'm Tango ready time. For Come on. I've not danced with disease food. Can we not do this in a cliche? <laughs> all right, I'll catch up with you later. How could you prefer to be with that phony piece of nonsense, that haircut? When are you going to realize that sarcasm and disdain is not an end to itself? Well, it depends on the quality of the remark, don't you think? No, I don't. I already told you, I don't want words. I want action. Well, how about reaction? Check this one out. It's my latest. Huh? Chase Newsom's not the answer. Talk about posers. You should know where I stand. Whoa. Josh Kruger. Hello, Mindy. Hey, you ready to meet Carmen Electra? Did you see that? Don't you play me now. You got backstage passes. Did somebody say backstage passes? You guys are clear. Come on in. For no sudden movements. Hey, Paul. Oh, where's my black fishnets? Huh? Fishnets. Yeah, they're in the trunk behind the dressing table. Oh, hi. What up, girl? Got a fan of yours over here. So, you're Josh. You seem so familiar. Really? You didn't mail me a six-foot nude sculpture of myself made out of rubber cement. No. No, I made mine out of silly putty. <laughs> you're funny. Oh, my God, this is totally the best. <laughs> I can't believe I'm here with you. Here, Josh, take our picture. <laughs> oh, my God, thank you. You're so cool. Oh, you're so sweet. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Carmen, you should decide what you're wearing tonight. I know. I'm so out of it before a show. Um, would you guys help me pick? Really? Yeah. Oh, my God. I hate making decisions. Oh, I know. Me, too. Totally. Do you like this one? Oh, wow. Oh, that's so nice. Got a lot of decent stuff here. Radiohead, Queens of the Stone Age, Ramones. All right. Always been a rock girl. Ramones were the best. Joey was totally underrated in his day. Right on. A man with taste. You seen Rock and Roll High School? Oh, and the DVD. You know who I love? Hillary Duff. 
Carmen, hair and wardrobe? All right, you guys, I have to get ready, but um, maybe after the show we can hang out and uh, talk more about music. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Bye. 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 Remember, stay behind me. Behind me! What's up, y'all? Are y'all ready to get busy? No doubt, no doubt. We'll give a big island welcome to the goddess of the tropics, Miss Carmen Electra. Check it out! Hey, back it up, buddy. Lift it right there. Stay right there. significant hearing damage. Well, at the very least, tinnitus. Temperatures rising Got me burning, burning, burning up And I can't control it You've got to be kidding me. I'm in flames It's a wild thing, your 15 minutes, Josh. Choke on it. Jungle fever service my ass. <laughs> what are we gonna do? Hey, it's okay. It's okay. Hey, hey, come here. It's okay. It's okay. Chase is good. Come on. Come on. Let's buck up. Let's buck up, okay? Let's buck up. Be a man here. Let's go. Come on. Come on. I knew it. I doubted. I should never doubt myself. What? We're smack in the middle of the Bermuda Triangle. Great. Can we just go home? What about Carmen? Death sells, dude. I mean, her, her video sales are gonna be like. How do you know she's dead? You saw Josh! She's gone. I thought you are such a big fan. Now you're ready to sell her downriver for what? For a 25-foot flying insect. We should go after her. Yes. Yes! <laughs> I'm down. I'm totally down. 
I want to meet that big bucket. I admire your bravery, Josh, but this seems a little foolish. I mean, with the exception of a summer at Weeblo Camp, you have no wilderness training, let alone search and rescue. And that Weeblo Camp thing wasn't even a whole summer. We had to come pick you up. This fascist made me paint my face and make God's eyes. All right, young people, listen up. I'm, uh, I'm Bob Statton, producer of the show. How are you guys doing tonight? <laughs> All right. Uh, we have uh, an uh, emergency situation here, so let me tell you what's happening. Uh, point one, uh, due to unforeseen indigenous animal activity, uh, Carmen Electra will not be able to complete her performance. But I assure you, we're doing everything we can to ensure her safe return, OK? Uh, what exactly is being done, Bob? Please hold all questions. Uh, point two. A tiny electrical storm has temporarily interfered with communications, which means that for the time being, we're cut off from the mainland. <laughs> also, our ship's power's gone a little funny, so we're all gonna have to depend on each other, okay? Right, so let's stick together, people. You know, I don't recall electing Asboy Island leader. I'm told by our captain that uh, once the navigational equipment is up and running, well, we'll be up and running. So uh, let's keep it real, OK? And uh, please proceed in an orderly fashion back to the beach. The, uh, the launches are waiting. So, uh, a very special surprise musical guest will be waiting for you on the party boat to keep your spirits up, OK? It's easy to be their first star when they're on top and number one. But the real fans are there in the times of trouble. Lousy ratings, falling record sales, rehab. Abduction by flying insects. I don't claim to have any answers. I'm not even always sure what I believe in. I'm depressed. I hate sports, I'm trying to go vegan, and uh, I'm considering community college until I figure out what I want to do. But I do know one thing. I'm going after Carmen. Now who's with me? One second there, Chief. If it is your intention to stay here and play hero, there's something you should know. Something you all should know, as it states in your signed waivers. Staten Productions is not responsible for any bodily harm, including death, dismemberment, etc., during the filming of MTV's Tropical Weekend Getaway. Plainly speaking, you slip off a cliff, fall into a quicksand pit, get eaten by a bug the size of a Hummer, it's not my problem. And when the navigational equipment is repaired, my boat is leaving with or without you. I'm out of here. Seriously, dude, I'm not getting killed for this. Word. Thanks for your support. Take that under advisement. Jackass. Some speech, loser. Didn't know you had it in you. Confidentially, I don't really know that I do. Oh, I guess you do, brother. I mean, you just took your first step into a whole new world. A world of unimaginable horror. It's gonna be so much fun! <laughs> 
You're such a big boy. Yes, you are. <laughs> I knew the location people of this place was too good to be true. Any news on the surprise guest band? That chopper should have landed two hours ago. We lost radio contact when right before the show, Bob. They might have went down in a storm. Bad day to be famous. Yeah. You know, this is supposed to be my big break. And I'll never get to host TRL. Hey, we still getting paid for the whole gig? Okay, okay, shut up. This may look like a disaster. But actually, this could be the greatest opportunity any of us is ever going to get. Oh. God. Screw MTV and their candy-ass variety hour. <laughs> this, this is high-octane adventure. Real life and death. I'll sell it to the highest bidder. Where are you going with this, Bob? Don't you see? If that pinhead kid does find Carmen and we capture that on tape, we're made. And uh, what if he tanks? Then it's a heart-wrenching tale of unfailing faith and spirit, like Survivor. Either way, the footage will save our ass. You down? You kidding me? I've been waiting my whole life for something like this. You. Uh-uh. I just signed a contract extension. My job is safe. I ain't going into any jungle with y'all. I'll do it. <laughs> sure you will. I'll get everything we need. <laughs> yeah. Smart girl. All right. Hijack these from the production. We'll tell you along the batteries will hold, though. Check the compass. Spinning like a dreidel. Magnetic flux like these can last up to 24 hours. I wouldn't gamble on having more time than that. I would also count highly on predictable weather patterns. Andy. Pet bag. When are you going to realize there's time to go to your locker between classes? Come on. Ain't no lockers in the bush. Yo, J-Man. What do you want? Josh, I believe in what you're doing. I'd like to offer my support, and we want to document your journey. Yeah, right. Come on. It'll be fun. I'll make you look fabulous, I promise. Whatever. Let's go, let's go! Come on, Maddie, let's go. The boat's leaving without us. Let's go. No. I think we should stay. I think. I think we should help them. It might be too late for Carmen, baby. But what if it's not? There's always a reason not to do something, but when you have the chance, you should act. Josh, tell us what's on your mind right now. How do you prepare for a big mission like this? Don't you think? Yeah, right. Yeah, absolutely. Let's go. Let's do this. Dude, way to go. You rallied the troops. Well done. But I think you'll all agree that in order for this rescue to succeed, it's going to come down to strategic planning. My world. <laughs> You're unbelievable. As an Eagle Scout, I did my fair share of search and rescue. First thing, we need to establish a target zone. Yeah, the thing flew off towards the big mountain. That's where we're headed. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. Mountain's the rallying point. All right, let's lock and load, people. Let's go. Let's go. Let's... We're on the move. you back, bro, okay? I know you do. But, but look, just, just between me and you, and your problem with Maddie and Mr. Pants, that's that's what's really behind this whole action here, okay, right? Partly, yeah. Well, what's the other part? Carmen. Dude, you, you really think you had a chance with that? Look, man, I'll tell you the truth, I have no idea what I'm doing right now. <laughs> well, Josh, that's the best place to be. Here, it's tape number one. It's the, the bit with the, the thing, you know, come, just mark it like awesome or amazing or something. Hey, I really admire you too. You know, putting your butts on the line for posterity. God, I think it's so interesting how crisis situations bring out the hidden strengths in people. Subtle, Jen. Agenda much? Josh is all over Carmen. That's what this is about for him. Any luck with that compass? Nothing. 
tell you the truth, I'm more than a little nervous about the imminent disappearance of our only visual aid. No kidding. I thought the stars would help with this thick canopy. Hey, Kruger, looks like you're starting to drift off course. Maybe we should compensate for the downgrade? Head over this way. Sweet. It's like he compensated us for into a brick wall. Look, shut up, you little punk. Anyone who criticizes leadership in a time of crisis is not only counterproductive, but unpatriotic. Did you get that off a plaque in your daddy's office? Did I get off? Stop. He's right. You're not helping. How can you buy this guy's shtick? He's stumbling around in the dark just like the rest of us, only he's dangerous because he won't admit when he's wrong. No, she's in the dark. Stop! 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 A few hours into the search for Carmen Electra, and tempers are starting to flare. You can literally feel the strain and stress on these young people. How's that good? Yeah? Now, Chimp Boy is here to resolve all query. So let's take a little breather, a little time out, a little calm and reverence for the mountain, so that she may reveal her gracious presence. Flying cockroach grabbed me. And then I was like falling through the air. And I was in and out of consciousness. And I was like, hanging onto this tree. It was sporty here, grabbed a hold of my leg. Thanks for breaking my fall. Anytime. Everybody, this is Eight Ball, Carmen's bodyguard. Oh, great. He was a lot of help. What the hell are you talking about? Where's Carmen? The thing that grabbed you grabbed her, too. You don't remember? It carried her up to the big mountain, so that's where we're going. Was... She was my responsibility. And I failed her. So I'm on it. And I'm in. So you lead the way. Uh, I caught a glimpse of the mountain before the spill. It's, uh... Over this way, I think. You carry that thing in your shorts? In a holster? Uh -uh. How do you sit? That's the discipline. Hmm. After you. Carmen! Eight balls coming! I'll get you! Be more information and less weight. Well, yeah, less weight, less tangible, and especially in situations like this, I mean, useless. 
insane jungle rescue missions happen often in your life? I know this is bordering on creepy, but books actually make me feel safe, you know? They're a constant. And if need be, a great place to hide. I don't think you're creepy. I had no idea. Jane Austen's been my favorite since fourth grade. Well, who else do you like? Bronte, Gabriel Garcia Marquez, Judy Bloom. I just don't carry them all around with me everywhere I go. Stop. Almost. So, Chase, Maddie, tell us why you're here. Well, we're, uh, we're happy to be leading this rescue mission for Carmen Electra. Right, honey? Oh, hey. <laughs> I think my experience as an Eagle Scout is, uh, has led me to, um, well, hey. a place where I'm fully prepared to face hey. any challenges. So who dumped who? <sighs> she dumped me. It is an awesome that guy? Lame as I am, I can't believe it myself. Well, it's all about the attitude. Yeah! So, what? Now you're into Carmen? Well, we have a lot in common, you know? We share the same music taste. She gave me this look. Hey, look. I watch guys fall in love with Carmen every day. It's because she's so nice. But you do realize that nothing's ever gonna happen. She's already found her soulmate. What do I know? You know enough to risk your life and the lives of your friends to save her. That means something. Buck up! Most girls are afraid of bugs. 
but I'm not. In fact, I think you're kind of cute. <laughs> what do you say I go slip into something a little more comfortable? <laughs> or not? <laughs> Two giant insects varying in scale. A dangerous pattern could be emerging. Meaning? A 500-foot ladybug could kill us at any minute. Oh, yeah, this will totally work. Use my earring as a hook. Pick a trick, Cash. Who's hungry? Mm -hmm. That's all you brought, Jawbreakers and Nutty Bars? There's protein in the peanut butter, Jen. Hey, guys, no worries. I'm on it. I don't believe you. I'll eat candy for dinner before I go out of Fish's innards with a hook and then suffocate and burn it. All right, she's right, dude. Fishing hurts. Oh, Han, fish feel no pain. They're the dumbest things on Earth. <laughs> chop, chop, children. I need some help with the wood. Uh, duck, duck, goose, you three, come on. You should eat something. Totally vegan. Not hungry. Bring a trick back there with the boat. How'd you do that? I don't know. I had this... It's like I've been here before. Hmm. It's new. Chase gave that to you. It's kind of earthy of him. Don't talk to me about Chase. Hey, I got one! <laughs> Survival of the fittest, baby! Yeah! Mm. doesn't take kindly to strangers, I'm afraid. A bit tenacious in his bullying. Thank you for your help. Who are you? Dr. Harryhausen, Department of Atomic Energy. You kids shouldn't be horsing around out here. Welcome to U.S. Army Outpost XB-27 Minus. A tad understaffed these days, I'm sorry to say. Watch those tripwires, kids. I really should pick up around here, but damn if I'm not one of those one-thing-at-a-time types. The idea of washing dishes while carrying on a conversation is totally beyond me. Two, three, four, you're quite a crowd. It's awfully nice to have company. Are you kids hungry? 
We're kind of in a hurry. Can you tell us what's going on here? Progress, my boy, progress. Look around you, what do you see? Clutter, mess, dirty dishes in the sink. What's the obsession with dirty dishes? It's what we are, really, deep down. A big, slimy, gooey mess. You ever see a man splayed open? Look deeply into his innards? Not before this trip, but go on. Confusing, isn't it? Not all organized, cleaned, and pressed properly. First dishes, now laundry. Yeah, but sir, physicians have mapped the human body. I mean, there's method behind the mechanics and structure, beneath all the blood and goo. Hogwash! Doctors don't know anything. My sister's a doctor. Oh, you should hear some of the stories. It's worse than the food service industry. The nature of things is disorganized mess. We waste our lives developing perfumey deodorants when B.O. is what we are by design. But even here, in the jungle, I can hear my mother's voice. Clean up your room, freak. Hey, freak, go down to the store and get me my cough syrup and smokes. Tea, anyone? I'm a tiny, my brain! Bad, Rudy. Bad, bad, bad little Rudy. What the hell is that? Predatory fungus with a dash of horseshoe crap. A mutated crossbreed? Oh, just a mutt named Rudy. But he wasn't trying to eat your friend's brains out. Little fellas in heat. <laughs> Good thing orifice identification isn't a strong point. Such is the price of arrogance, kids. In 1967, the army stole this land from the Mombata Islanders, who lived right here. No, no, you won't find them in any book. A lost tribe, a holdover from the Stone Age. What happened? We gave them some colored beads and relocated them for their own protection. The tough ones refused to be intimidated. Strong warriors, these folks were. Pioneers in the martial arts. So the army left them right here. They believed that their goddess, Queen Mohacha, would protect them. Alas, they were sorely mistaken. Four H-bombs were detonated in these waters. I was among the team sent in to investigate the effects on the environment and the wildlife. Our findings, well, by now, you know the results. Yeah, horny nuclear mutants. Oh, it was a bad scene for a while. Considered uh, checking out more than once. Nitro. Figured if it got bad enough, I'd bash this sucker over my head and see what's next. I can think of less painful ways than blowing yourself up. No points for dramatic effect, though. Huh, not quite time yet. I still feel that one must go through hell to experience the real value of heaven. Anyway. It'll all be over soon. What do you mean? The end is near, kids. This land is so polluted, so sick with corruption. It's in its death throes. Meaning? The island's going to sink. Oh my god, you've got to be kidding! What dumbass did location scout for this thing? Doctor, when? When exactly is the island going to sink? Oh, could be minutes, could be days. If there's anything I've learned in this life, it's that there's no such beast as an exact science. Anyone like a beer? This is ridiculous. Can you tell us the quickest way to the big mountain? The mountain? Tell me what you know about the mountain. Only. No one has dared venture there for many years. 
My entire team perished on that rock. It was not meant for man to tread upon. We have no choice. Our friend is trapped up there. And she's even still alive. I think we should listen to she Dr. She lives. She waits. And she's not alone. Are you on something? Doctor, we're running out of time. Please, if you know anything. Cut through the greenhouse and a quick ride past the mass grave. There's an old army road. Thank you. Do you want to come with us? Thank you, child, no. The jungle's my home. I'll stay here with my babies. I owe them that. my dear. Where you go, there's hope. Figuring this magnetic blackout lasts no more than 24 hours, I'd say the leases is about eight left to grab Carmen and make it back before the boat leaves. Not a lot of time. It's definitely not enough time. I mean, you heard the quack said. This place could go down any sec. I mean, I think we've done all we can do here. Totally. From a journalistic standpoint, we've captured the whole story. All we're doing is wasting time. Wait a minute. Look, guys, I don't know what's up there. But whatever it is, it's going to be bad. It's going to be worse than bad, probably. Deadly, most likely. Uh, pep talk going a little stray, buddy. Yeah, um... What I'm trying to say is I, I wouldn't blame anyone for turning back. Brightness lights our path. Our cause will deliver us. Okay. The mountain waits. We go. Now this is what I'm talking about. Let's get it on. Yeah. Hey, Maddie, what's up? Look, I know things are kind of weird right now, but you're freaking me out. The problem is not mine, but yours. Why are you talking like that? Even when you act, you question. <laughs> no faith. Look, Yoda, you're the one who picked Frady Pants to be your new suitor, OK? So you're not exactly in any kind of position. Feel! Not those! My heart. It beats with the rhythm of the ancient drums. The mountain beckons me, its power increasing with each step closer. I feel, I feel. No! The mountain is everything. Right. Oh, here, let me help you with that. Everybody crazy but me. I mean, this is crazy, right? No, I know. I mean, it'd be different if they knew what they were doing. You know, had solid leadership. Sort of puts things in perspective, though, you know? Makes you realize what's really important. Heard that. I mean, seriously, what can a lousy television show mean when so many lives are at stake? Everything. If I'm stuck here, I'm gonna damn sure make it worth my while. You know, forget freaking TRL. I'm going straight to entertainment tonight. Listen, let me do you the courtesy of being frank. Okay, I can't allow that footage of me uh, back there with the fish guy to be seen by millions of people. I mean, it would ruin my political career before it even gets started. I'm being groomed to be a very important political figure. You're asking me to deliberately alter the truth. That goes against every journalistic Cut the crap, okay? I know who you are. You're a shameless opportunist. I know that because I'm exactly the same way. And we both know that success in this world hinges on perception. The truth, it doesn't mean a damn thing. Now, naturally, <laughs> I am willing to discuss adequate compensation for your help. No amount of money in the world's gonna make me part with that footage. What kind of pinhead do you think I am? My future is riding in this bag. Your future is your own damn business. And if that's the sharpest political maneuver you got, you got a lot more to worry about than some lousy videotape. Hey, 
man. I'm sorry if I hesitated back there. Hey, that's cool. You know, you're just thinking to your friends. It's the mark of a good leader. <laughs> Thanks, but I think it's more that I was just scared. Hey, we're all scared, brother. You know, fear is the toughest beast there is, and it ain't never licked. All you can do is keep beating it back. I sense something here. What now? Dude, bad vibes. Andy? What do you think made that? <sighs> Could be mechanical. When they were bulldozing the road, maybe. We go. Tarzan's right. Let's move! Back! Slow on me. It'll be okay. It's coming! Come on, Manny! Come on! Run! Through the machine! Take shelter! It's definitely male. Definitely male. So it's good busy time? It's big busy. I think it's kind of romantic. Now, I don't disagree. It's just, well, you see, if the female behaves like a normal sized praying mantis. Kruger, what should we do now? Stay here and be still. Maybe she's had her fill of ass kicking today. That's it. Go. Go. Goodbye. Oh, what? What? Oh, what? Are you kidding me? Whose cell phone is that? Who are you kidding me? Someone. Who's his name? Who's? Yeah. What's up? Oh, hey, Bob. Are you nuts? Definitely, definitely. Are you nuts? We've got some amazing stuff here. I think you'll be very happy. You idiot! Go, go, go! I'm just going to need you to hold for a second because I really have to run. Retreat! <laughs> Oh, just, just wait a minute. What the hell was that? That, that was a giant crate mantis. Did you get it on tape? Of course I got it on tape. Yes. Okay, look, we're all back on the boat ready to set sail. Uh, tell us where you are, we'll come get you. How the hell should I know? Near the mountain somewhere. Just get me the hell out of here. Okay, okay, just, um, all right. Uh, looks like there's a small stretch of beach on the uh, west side mountain. Uh, we'll circle around back and, and meet you there, okay? Guard the footage with your life. This way! Where's 
He's gone. Let's go. Where? Where, where are we going? We're, we're gonna walk around in circles until until giant maggots squirm us to death? Or, or, or huge moss rip up all our clothes? Or, or dung beetles the size of, of, of cows rip us to pieces because they hate our freedom? Why don't you just shut up? No, I won't shut up, okay? I'm done shutting up. You're gonna listen to me now. Howard! I sever all ties with you. The foulest dung of the lowest creature holds a greater place in my heart. Speak to me no more! The mountain is near. One hour. This way. How do you know? I know. She knows. Let's get moving. Up top and disappeared. Maybe there's some kind of nest up there? Weapons. Right. What do we got? Bear base. Brass knuckles. Nobody messes with Jen. Unless Jen wants to be messed. Okay. Besides two meter here, the rest of us are a little light. We must be resourceful. Ah! 
Let's do this. Going somewhere? Oh, oh, wait, you don't want to go out there alone? Let me help. Yeah, I'm sure you're real concerned for my safety. <laughs> oh, come on, I want to get out of here same as you. It's an even trade. You obviously know the way out. I got your back. Fine. Come on, jackass. Such strange topography. Porous. You mean like a volcano? I hope not. The producer guy must be picking him up. Good riddance. Yeah, but you don't believe they'd leave without us. How much longer? I think we're getting close. I can hear the ocean. Ah, what the hell? Well, well, it's so nice to see you. Said the spider to the fly. Oh, get me the hell out of here. If I get anywhere near that stuff, I'm gonna be as stuck as you. We chicken ass. Go get help. Get to the boat. Where are they meeting us? The beach against the west face of the mountain. Well, now we both know, don't we? I'm gonna make sure they do a real nice tribute piece on you. How's that for political maneuvering? Ooh. Check it out. Scratch one wannabe. She had her priorities completely misaligned. Except for her abs. Stay focused. We're running out of time. Happening, Captain. This is a piece of her dress. She's here. She's here. And she may be naked. This is no volcano. 
volcano. You can't have my candy! No, you can't! What? What? Okay, okay, maybe get another Kit Kat or the Kit Kat or something. I made a fire Nice shooting. Archery ribbon. This Weeblow camp wasn't a total waste. It looks like an ant. Soldier ant. This whole mountain is one giant anthill. But how could that be? Whatever grabbed Carmen has wings. Ants don't fly. There's one that does. One indeed. The queen has wings. By us, Mark, Sandy. What are you doing up here, Doc? Figured you kids could use a hand. Josh, it smells like your shoes down here. Shut up. All right, kids, keep your eyes open. A little help? <laughs> no. Doc, how many more of those ants you think are down here? <sighs> Thousands, I would think. Normally, yes. But many years ago, the army just napalmed the hell out of this hill, exterminating almost the entire colony. My team and I went in with specially designed gas guns that were meant to sterilize the survivors. We completed our mission, but not before the surviving ants had the revenge. The queen herself killed most of my men. So it's payback time. She was understandably angry. But yes, I miss my colleagues. I'd do her. If I was an ant. I don't see Carmen. Where is she? Partners with the Queen. More like slaves. Indeed. Enslaved to do the work of the colony. Not when you want. There are only a few giant ants and so many of them. They are oppressed. Their souls weakened by bondage. <laughs> Carmen. 
Abducted and abused, Carmen's got it going on. That's why she got grabbed. To keep the slaves happy. I'm in flames. It's a wide jungle fever. My people are not themselves. You're going to talk. They worship a false god. I have come to deliver them. Indeed you have, and you shall. Go to your people. Show them who you are. Who is she? Who are you? I am Mahacha. The physical incarnation of their goddess queen. Maddie, wait. Let her go. It's her destiny. And it might be just the edge you need to save your friend. with me. You guys better get down there. How about your homies? Go, 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 go. Carmen. 
Josh? Yeah, me. Weird, right? Come on, we gotta get out of here. Let's go. The end is upon us. The island's sinking? Now? Okay, your highness, time to go. Mubadas! Mubadja Khan! Mubadja Khan! Mubadja Khan! Mubadja Khan! Hey! Hey! Over here! Attention all hands. Who the hell's that? Underwater seismic activity detected. Prepare for immediate departure. I don't see little Mindy anywhere. Prepare for immediate departure. Saul Redbook is dead. They got Carmen! Hey! Which way's out? Um, looks like someone's watching way too much charm. Long story, Doc, exit. I know of a ventilation shaft. It's our quickest escape route. I have little Mindy's bag! I... No. No. Nobody abandons Chase Newsom! Come on, let's go. There it is! Come on! A bit treacherous, I'm afraid. Yeah, treacherous. <laughs> Look, I just took on a whole room full of bands. Okay, so whatever's out there, it's not as bad. Let, let's go! My dear. Here's your cough syrup and smokes bomb. Settled in a nearby atoll where they'll begin again. Can they give us a ride? Our destiny lies elsewhere. We must remain strong. We must stay united. Well, I imagine that concept comes easy to you, seeing as how you are a warrior goddess. Prepare for our deliverance. We'll have to be wild! Enough. Look, enough's enough. If we're gonna die, I want to get a few things off my chest. We'll have to want to die! Betty, you're the only person I really care about in the whole world. 
the hot tub and water bottle! Life's a crappy black hole without you. I'm a better person with you. You made me see so many things that I've never seen. Thuthu bana hacha macha! shut up! Just who the hell do you think you are telling me to shut up? <clears throat> oh, it's cool, it's cool. They used to go out. You're back. Maddie. You are Maddie again, right? Yeah? Who else would I be? <laughs> I was gonna wait for the time to be right, but I must tell you now. I love you, Jen. I've always loved you. <laughs> You're such a dork. I'm in a rock band, you know. Sorry, I'm married. Gigs coming up. A lot of major label interest. You can sign it to Jen Love always, and you can put your phone number on it too. I don't believe it. It felt like a dream, but it's real. Yeah, there was something else back there, let me tell ya. Pretty hot with that machete. But you made it happen. You acted when nobody else would. I think I was curious to see what would happen if I actually did do something. Let's tell you the truth, I did it for you. You know, the aquarium is enslaving a whole family of killer whales for the summer tourist trade. And I'm there. Last thing I'm gonna do is piss off another water mammal. Chase. Oh, remember JFK. PT-109. Survived on coconuts. So did Tomax. Come on, Chase. Put this will this away. <laughs>
guys okay? The Queen has wings. Fungus with a dash of horseshoe crap. Thank you, Molly Mark. Action. You know, most girls are afraid of bugs, but I'm not. In fact, I think you're kind of cute. All right, big boy. God, I'm sorry. Cut it right away. Just right. 